it is Sunday, January 10th, the last day of Iowa's deer season. And Chase and I are back out on the home farm. We're back in this same blind that uh, my kids and wife killed in over Christmas. And where we saw Tex, it's been four nights ago now. We actually hunted here last night and we had a pretty slow hunt. The conditions were really favorable. And we had uh, given this blind uh, one night's rest. And I don't know, deer movement was really late, and we just had a handful of deer come out. So hopefully tonight it will be different. We got standing corn right here. And since we both have our bows, I just feel like this plot sets up better uh, than the other one. The other one's just really big. It's hard to get them in bow range. Plus the wind isn't quite right, so we would have had to drag that blind to a different location. This one is set up for this wind, and... Uh, Hopefully we can get Tex or Big Mac or that 6x5 out in front of us. We've had a few turkeys out, but uh, no deer yet. It's a little after 3 o'clock. Trying to finish the season strong and enjoy our last night in the woods. Well, that's a wrap for the 2020 season. Uh, another nice night in the blind. Unfortunately, another shooter showed up tonight. Just lots and lots of young bucks. I think we had 12 or so one, two, and three year old bucks out here. So cool to see the future crop of bucks. I'm already dreaming about what uh, Tex will look like next year and some of the bucks down at the River Bottom Farm, Dak and that double beam buck and the Crab Claw 10. Excited to see what they'll be and uh, excited for shed season. And these last few weeks, I've been really thinking about all the off-season projects we need to get done. So time to start thinking and planning on that. Uh, we really appreciate you guys' support this year and look forward to catching up with you in the off-season.